Distinguished participants, good morning. I am Yamada Miki, State Minister of the Environment, Japan. I would like to express my warm gratitude to UNEP and CCAC for jointly hosting the Climate and Clean Air Conference. We are now facing the triple global crisis of climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollutions, as well as ongoing global energy crisis. All countries must take concrete actions urgently, leveraging synergies to address these issues. In this context, we believe it very significant and timely that the annual meeting of the CCAC, which contributes not only the reduction of SLCPs, but also improvement of air quality, is being held in collaboration with UNEP Air Quality Action Week. In the communique of the G7 Ministerial Meeting in April, the importance of concrete actions on climate change and air pollution control are highlighted. For example, G7 are committed to enhancing broader cooperation, including regional cooperation on air quality around the world. G7 also highlights the importance of taking progressive actions on methane emission reduction, especially in waste, agriculture, and energy sectors. In addition, G7 highlighted the importance of advancing proper life cycle management of fluorocarbons, in particular, addressing fluorocarbon banks. Japan has been making various efforts to address climate change and air pollution in such current global trend. Japan has been contributing to the Regional Action Program on Air Pollution through the ACIT Deposition Monitoring Network in East Asia, or EANET. The network has been creating a common understanding on the state of air pollution and providing useful inputs for decision-making at various levels in the region. In addition, Japan has been promoting the initiative on fluorocarbons life cycle management in close cooperation with the CCAC. We are very glad to contribute the various achievements of the cooling hub in its first year, such as the publication and promotion of the resource book for life cycle management of fluorocarbons. Japan joined the Global Methane Pledge in 2021. Japan has been making consistent efforts to reduce methane emissions domestically and internationally. Furthermore, Japan established the fund to the ADB and the UNIDO to support a project to introduce methane emission reduction technology using the Joint Crediting Mechanism, or JCM. Japan will continue to work with international community to keep a limit of 1.5 degrees centigrade temperature rise within reach and to address air pollution. Thank you very much for your kind attention.